Welcome back, folks. I'm Dr. Adam McKee, bringing you another deep dive into criminal justice, an overview of the system. Today's episode, titled The Framework of Federalism, unravels the complexities of dual federalism and its significant impact on the U.S. criminal justice system. Let's explore how the division of power between federal and state governments shapes law enforcement, legal proceedings, and the overall pursuit of justice. Dual Federalism in Action In the intricate political and legal fabric of the United States, dual federalism stands as a cornerstone of governance, establishing a division of power between the federal and state governments. This system envisions a balance where both entities wield authority independently over their designated spheres, fostering a diversity of approaches and policies reflective of the nation's vast and varied landscape. Yet, the realm of criminal justice presents a complex arena where the theoretical clarity of dual federalism encounters practical nuances and challenges. The interaction between federal and state jurisdictions in criminal justice is nuanced, with federal legislation and directives often guiding the overarching strategies and methodologies employed across states. While the principle of dual federalism implies a clear demarcation of federal and state powers, the reality within the criminal justice sector reveals a more entangled relationship. Federal laws, embodying national standards and priorities, frequently influence state criminal justice practices, prompting debates over the balance of power and the degree of autonomy states should wield in managing their affairs. This dynamic interplay between federal directives and state sovereignty becomes a focal point for discussions on governance, autonomy, and the appropriate scope of federal intervention in criminal justice. As federal standards permeate state systems, questions arise regarding the implications for state independence and the ability to tailor criminal justice policies to local needs and contexts. This ongoing dialogue underscores the complexity of applying dual federalism in a domain as multifaceted as criminal justice, where national interests and state prerogatives must be harmonized within the broader pursuit of justice and public safety. The Hierarchy of Laws The U.S. legal framework is structured around a hierarchical system where federal laws occupy the pinnacle of authority, a principle enshrined in Article 6 of the Constitution. This supremacy clause ensures that, in cases of conflict, Federal statutes take precedence over state laws, embedding a clear line of legal command that stretches across the entire nation. However, this overarching power of federal law does not go unchecked. The Bill of Rights, constituting the first ten amendments to the Constitution, acts as a bulwark protecting individual liberties, meticulously limiting the extent to which federal authority can impinge upon personal freedoms and rights. Over the years, this interplay between federal dominance and constitutional safeguards has given rise to an evolved form of governance known as cooperative federalism. This model is particularly pronounced in the realm of criminal justice, a field marked by the intricate convergence of federal and state legislative powers. Here, a complex tapestry of laws emerges, with federal statutes setting broad national standards while state laws fill in the gaps, tailoring justice administration to local contexts and needs. This collaborative approach to governance underscores a dynamic and adaptive legal system, capable of addressing the nuanced demands of justice across diverse communities while maintaining a core commitment to upholding fundamental rights. Cooperative federalism in criminal justice reflects a deliberate effort to harmonize the strengths of federal oversight with the benefits of state-level autonomy, ensuring that the pursuit of justice remains both effective and aligned with the nation's foundational values. The Hierarchy of Courts the American legal landscape is characterized by a fundamental division of judicial authority, giving rise to a dual court system that delineates the spheres of federal and state jurisdictions. Federal courts have the mandate to interpret and apply federal laws, serving as the arbiters of statutes that span the entire nation. Conversely, state courts are tasked with adjudicating matters pertaining to state legislations, reflecting the localized norms and legal requirements of their respective jurisdictions. This bifurcation is designed to accommodate the vast and varied legal needs of a diverse country, allowing for specialization and focus within each court system. Yet, this division does not imply isolation. Both federal and state court systems are intricately woven into the broader tapestry of American governance, engaging in a dynamic relationship with the legislative and executive branches. This interplay is fundamental to the court's operations, as they depend on the laws crafted by Congress and signed into action by the President to guide their judicial processes. Such a relationship underscores the principle of checks and balances, ensuring that the judiciary does not operate in a vacuum but rather within a cooperative framework that spans the entirety of government. This interdependency between the courts and the other branches of government is essential for the judiciary's effectiveness and the equitable administration of justice. 
It reflects a system where the interpretation and enforcement of laws are anchored in the broader context of democratic principles, with the judiciary playing a pivotal role in upholding the rule of law as enshrined in the Constitution and legislated by Congress. Through this collaborative structure, the dual court system operates not merely as separate entities but as integral components of a unified legal mechanism dedicated to maintaining the balance between federal oversight and state autonomy while ensuring justice is accessible and fair for all. United States District Courts Upon delving into the federal court system, one's initial encounter is with the United States District Courts. These courts serve as the judiciary's backbone, meticulously handling a wide array of legal matters that span the gamut from infringements of federal legislation to conflicts that cross state lines. The establishment of 94 judicial districts across the nation is a testament to the federal judiciary's dedication to ensuring that justice is within reach for every citizen, regardless of where they reside in the vast expanse of the United States. This widespread network of district courts is foundational to the federal legal system's operational integrity, offering a first level of judicial review that is both comprehensive and nuanced. By dealing with cases directly tied to federal statutes as well as those involving complex jurisdictional issues among states, district courts play a pivotal role in maintaining the uniformity and coherence of federal law application. Their presence in every state, including territories like Puerto Rico and Guam, underscores an unwavering commitment to upholding the principles of fairness and accessibility, guaranteeing that individuals and entities have a forum to address grievances under the umbrella of federal oversight. The strategic distribution of these courts across the country not only facilitates equitable access to legal recourse but also reflects the judicial system's adaptability and responsiveness to the needs of a diverse populace. In handling matters of significant national concern as well as cases with local implications, the United States District Courts exemplify the federal judiciary's role in delivering justice diligently and equitably, anchoring the legal system's foundation on the bedrock of public service and constitutional fidelity. United States Courts of Appeals. Climbing further up the judicial hierarchy, one reaches the United States Courts of Appeals, which serve a critical function as the arbiters of legal precision and correctness. Tasked with the review of lower court decisions, including those emerging from the district courts and decisions made by federal agencies, these appellate courts are structured into 12 regional circuits, covering the entire span of the United States. This organization facilitates a systematic approach to ensuring that justice is not only meted out uniformly but also adheres rigorously to the dictates of both the Constitution and federal law. The influence wielded by the courts of appeals is profound and far-reaching, extending its impact well beyond the courtroom into numerous facets of both public and private sectors. By rigorously interpreting the law, these courts play an indispensable role in shaping the legal landscape of the nation, affecting legislation, regulation, and individual rights. Their decisions set precedents that guide not just future judicial rulings but also inform legislative and executive actions, embodying their critical place within the federal judiciary system. Moreover, the existence of the Courts of Appeals as a middle tier in the federal court system underscores the judiciary's commitment to thoroughness, accountability, and the principle of checks and balances. They act as a crucial checkpoint in the legal process, ensuring that errors at the trial level can be corrected, and that the interpretation and application of laws remain consistent across the board. In doing so, the United States Courts of Appeals safeguard the integrity of the judicial process and uphold the core values of justice, fairness, and adherence to the rule of law, reinforcing their pivotal status within the architecture of the federal judiciary. Conclusion Dual federalism intricately weaves through the fabric of the U.S. criminal justice system, influencing everything from lawmaking to law enforcement. This episode has shed light on the system's complexities, highlighting how federal and state powers coalesce to shape our pursuit of justice. As we prepare to delve deeper into the intricate workings of the United States Supreme Court in our next video, the Supreme Court of the United States, we stand at the threshold of exploring the zenith of the federal court system. The Supreme Court, with its Chief Justice and eight Associate Justices, embodies the ultimate authority in interpreting the Constitution and federal law, handling cases that raise substantial federal questions. This selective docket emphasizes the Court's pivotal role in shaping the legal landscape, influencing everything from individual liberties to the broad strokes of national policy. Stay tuned as we uncover the profound impact of the Supreme Court's decisions and its integral place in the American judicial system.